on the post game show. Coach, uh, I know this team talking to Chad was ready uh, to put it on somebody, and, and tonight everything fell right for you. The guys went up there looking for line drives, looking for ground balls, put pressure on the defense, attacked the pitch. Everything fell right for you tonight. Yeah, you know, we we found some green tonight. You know, we put some guys in motion in that six run inning and jump started some things with a few hit and runs, and then we just kind of let guys swing the rest of the way, and, and uh, you know, this team is close to has been close to doing that, and and uh, it was good. We got we got production from some guys. Obviously, Zerk had another great night, but Eli Hines come in had a, had a good night tonight. He you know, it was good to get get him going and get get him swinging. But uh, this is that's how we have to play, and and we, we we can't really take any innings or any pitches or any games or anything off. So uh, it was good to see. Team probably yeah, let's be honest, has probably put a lot of pressure on themselves the last couple of weeks. Needing a two out hit here, getting a leadoff man, not leaving, not being able to get him off first or get him around second this game do you, do you is your hope i guess is this is kind of a breakout game uh kind of get the weight off the shoulders and let's go with 31 games to yeah, go you know we got our lead off man on uh, seven out of eight innings tonight and so we we kept pressure on on their whoever was in the game on the mound we kept pressure on him and pressure on their defense the whole night and that's how we have to play uh it you see around the around the country if you struggle to get lead off men yeah. on it's hard to get three hits to score so uh, but it, it was good. We, you know, we, we executed some short game things early in the game when we were trying to expand leads. And, and uh, you know, I thought Blake came in and did a great job. You know, and Michael really had a good change up going. And, and Blake came in and really, really, you know, k- picked up right where Michael left off. And, and that was his story. Tell us about Michael. He was cruising along, had a no one count on Hollins. Their nine hole hitter and center fielder tweaked his back. Did, did he maybe tweak it a pitcher or two early? He came in. Uh, Trying to find out where that 0-1 count was on Hollins back in the third. Yeah. Did he may tweak it on that that pickoff play inning before? It may it may and something may have happened there. And you know, we're not sure if it's an oblique or, or a back strain. You know they'll get him evaluated, and you don't want to you want to kind of be cautious when when the pitcher mm-hmm. does something in his back. But uh, uh, but he's been very good for us. And you know he's throwing he's a strike thrower, and that's a, that was a game plan. You know giving Dan a weekend off basically to get a strike thrower on Friday night and. Uh, I thought he was he was on his way to having a nice outing for us, and hopefully he'll be okay. Well, I won't talk about it every game, but I do want to mention it because we had Chad up here four for five. He just keeps going about his business up to five twelve now, leads the country. And now, not only do you get people to come out to watch the Tiger baseball team, it's rare that you get an athlete in any sport that's going to lead the nation in anything. And now I kind of notice in the stands, people might be milling around, maybe going to the restroom concession stand. Once it gets to be where Chad's going to be coming up in an inning, everyone kind of gets back to the stands, and you hope that the, the Tiger fans, whether they're baseball fans or not, you come out to watch this player fill up the stands because everyone's kind of now kind of curious, I think. I heard on Sports Radio today in Memphis, things are kind of curious. I want to see this Zerker kid, see what he does. Well, he's got a he's got a great feel going, and he's very confident and very simple stroke right now, and, you know, the thing looks really big to him, and even his outs are pretty hard outs yeah. now in uh, – I guess he's our version of Jimmer. You know, people people <laughs> flocked, and, and I watched BYU a couple of times just to see this Jimmer guy shoot, and that's our Jimmer right now. So, uh, you know, you, you don't, you know, and our team's doing a great job, not really talking about it, just right. just appreciating, you know, what the kind of year he's having, and and I think the rest of the guys kind of felt like we got to take some pressure off him, and that was good about tonight, is is we got contributions from a lot of guys offensively. You go back tomorrow, and it'll be Ryan Holland going to the the mound of uh, the thing you guard against, though. Is you have a big game like this with the old aluminum batch it didn't matter you come back the next day you could hit some mistakes out of the ballpark the thing you don't want to happen tomorrow afternoon is you get in the air a lot yeah we got it we're gonna we're gonna talk more about it. that's what you saw tonight we lined a lot of balls up tonight and and uh had a few fly balls fell and some hit and runs we found some green but uh that's going to be our focus with the team is to is to put this game behind them you know understand what how you generate offense is you, you, you command the strike zone, and our guys did that. We didn't do a lot of chasing tonight, and you put pressure back on the guy on the mound with lining balls up. So, you know, clean slate tomorrow, uh, and, and that's how we have to approach this thing is the, the, re- the remaining of the season, just one one pitch, one game at a time. Well, you, you win one game, you try to win back-to-back games and, and get this thing rolling with 31 games to go. No doubt, and, and uh, you know, I think the team will feel really good with Ryan on the mound. You know, yep. obviously the, that was part of the plan with going to Wills. You just see a, kind of see a left-handed plan tonight to un, so the game plan can unfold for him tomorrow, and, and he'll be he'll be solid like he has all year. All right, Coach, as always, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, Jeff.